Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles and I'm glad actually that you guys enjoyed the first uh, two episodes. So here I am uh, in the town. I did work a little bit on the town and I also went mining and I just ate a blueberry. <laughs> I'm all blue so that's why I wanted to start recording but let me show you around the town a little bit. Uh, I tried to put a fence and also, actually I, I started by removing blocks from the side in a way we can be able to be saved. I put torches all around this, so they are at least two or three high depending on the, uh, the place. So all around the town, the town is all lit up and uh, with a fence or a, uh, a little bit of a cliff there. So let me show you all around this place. We have these uh, animals that by themselves have been following, uh, uh, staying in here, so which is really nice. And one of the things I actually wanted to do eventually, um, that I was thinking right now actually, is uh, try to block all these uh, villagers in their houses. Because they're kind of annoying uh, going around uh, uh, all the place and especially going into my house uh, <laughs> at times. Uh, they really scare the hell out of me. Anyway, uh, you can see I put a fence on the other side and these guys as well. Whenever I see uh, a guy inside, I put a block or something. So I've been trying to do that. And I've been planting most of the crops and stuff like that all around this area. And here is a barrier on that side. So there you go. That's what I've been doing, and I actually I wanted to also um, chop that uh, that tree in here because probably we're gonna use it very soon. So let's go ahead and chop this tree down that we have just uh, outside our little house, little town there. And don't tell me I need to. Yeah, probably gonna need to pile her up. Let me finish with this one. And uh, let's see, can we go like that and probably get it all? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's hope for some saplings because we're gonna need probably a lot of these. Yeah, we got a sapling right there. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. Not only we got saplings, but we got another uh, stuff to eat. And by the way, there is uh, the uh, carrot edition of the uh, Spice of Life. So I'm really happy. But the problem is that last episode I crafted the wrong book. So I did craft it again, and I'll show you in a second. So if we ha going here, I have uh, this actually I can eat. So I'm going to put it in there. Uh, saplings, I'm gonna put in there. Actually, I should plant the saplings outside. Uh, so let's go ahead and plant it over here next to our rubber trees. So probably, um, probably put one in there and probably put another one in there. Uh, let's see, F7. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay, and uh, what else I've done? I uh, I went mining. I did uh, a lot of uh, a little bit more chest as well. So let me put that in there. You can see in here we have a lot of stuff uh, mining: uh, lithium, magnesium, nickel, black wars, uranium, osmium, uh, boron, galena, bauxite, basalt. Unexpected material. I think this one we need actually to um, crush in a way with this. I, I, I'm not 100% sure what to do with this one though. Um, rock hounded mod chemistry. Unexpected material. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Tin ore, copper, iron, and lead. And all that I make a little hole in here. And you can see we can go inside. And right here there are two holes, and also I put it uh, I put it in here just in case I was surrounded by mobs or something that, that wanted to escape. Uh, I know Blood Moon is here. I haven't seen one yet, but I know it is. So I have one going over this direction. That's a little mining uh, cave that I found. Actually, let me 
food. Actually, I'm gonna remove these two in here. Uh, some light, so I've been mining all around this area a little bit. I cannot mine some of the stuff, carmesite ore, uh, and other stuff that I found around that I uh, wasn't able to mine. And on the other side, uh, well, I mined so much in here already, but in the other side in here, oh, I forgot, there's a piece of uh, copper right there. Copper is everywhere, by the way, so really nice to see copper uh, so abundant but yeah i stop going over that direction uh, i see more copper right there but yeah i haven't done that and over here also we have a lot of clay around and i stop going in that direction more copper coal copper copper yeah copper is everywhere so i mine i mine a lot of copper and what's cool about this is that you can go slash home and go right into uh, up there but I want to jump and show you on the ground in here uh, so in here I went to level 12 so I can see some uh, mining I see some uh, redstone and other stuff in here and just digging in here for a uh, branch mining I saw there is uh, this um, uh, underground uh, um, what is called mining shack so we have diamond right there guys but i cannot mine it yet uh this is good this is something that you can eat which is really nice and it give you normally uh, sometimes oh darkening oh look at that i'm dark now <laughs> from blue to dark okay um uh oh you see there's a more basal boron ore in here uh, as you can see, it takes a while to uh, to break everything in, in here. Also, um, uh, let me put that in there. Also, what I saw in here, let me actually fill that out. Uh, I saw that one here, Fade Leaf from Dungeon Dungeon Tactics. And I won't recommend you touching that because I think that one teleport you around. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, oh, look at that shield. Give me that shield. Oh, man, I should have done a shield already. Um, no. Well, at least we have rotten flesh. Oh, look at that. You saw how he teleported? Because he touched that fade leaf? As long as he didn't teleport it <laughs> next to me. Oh, man. Uh, let me get that guy. Nothing else. All right, so we have to pay attention with that. I think if it, if I break it, I get teleport. But I I don't want to taste. Uh, I don't want to try it. Ah, uh, and I see there, there's another one right there. All right, but uh, that's what we have. So let's go back home and take a look at the quest book and see what else we can do. Uh, that's what I mean. I hate these guys being in here and being in my bed when I try to sleep. This is my bed, guy. So there you go. Another thing I did, and you can see that on the chat, is I added a dead count. So now if I hold a tab, you can see Escodog zero. So I haven't died yet. And the way I did that is with uh, these commands. So first command is that one. You have to put add a dead, dead count. And then you have to display, set display list dead. So you can copy this command and then set this command and you have your own dead count that's a vanilla thing it's not a modern minecraft but uh, just so you know uh so uh, let's go ahead and put that in there and that in there first uh to rotten flesh uh, because i haven't actually uh fight a lot i've been running away like a like a like a coward every time i see uh any uh, any mob <laughs> and sleeping most of the time actually so yeah there you go Anyway, uh, let's go inside and uh, let's take a look at the quest book. So in the main quest line, so we finished actually this. We opened that and that's one of the things I wanted to show you. The Akasic Tom I did. Um, let me open here. Uh, I did the... Oh, did I, did I did it or not? Or I saw it. I, I tried on the test war, but I think I didn't did it. Okay, no, I haven't done it. So let's grab actually uh, some sugar cane and some of this sandstone. I actually gonna need a little bit more. 
So let's grab our tools. And uh, probably I'm gonna need some of these tools uh, right now. But if I recall correctly, you have to do it like this. And then you put that like so to get the paper. This is an interesting recipe. But if we take a look at the food, I did this one here, the food journal. That is the one that actually is in here, uh, food journal. And what I, I need is the food a book, the card edition. So, and oh, this one doesn't actually require paper. Okay, so I don't have to do that. Um, so I look at the book, but I didn't actually uh, craft it before. So let's go ahead and actually I'm going to put this one right here. Uh, so we need a book that we have, we must have, because I grab a bunch from the um, from the village where we are, and a carrot. So let's combine these two. That will give me that roar. And you can see in here that every 40 uh, different kind of food that you eat, then you get a new heart. And we already got one, you see a um, orange heart that I have in there. So that's really nice to have. And uh, what we can do actually, I'm gonna add it in here. And now we have the two uh, books in here, the food book and the food journal. Food journal is just a track, uh, it's gonna track uh, all the food that you you have. But the other one actually show you both, uh, how many food you missing and the one you have uh, eaten so far. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look in here. So. Right now, uh, we finished that, so we finished this uh, choice reward. I don't know exactly what to get yet in here. Uh, probably a silver coin, or maybe we'll need one of these, so I'm gonna hold on to that reward. Uh, the artisan, Artisan's Iron Pan, we can actually do that one. Uh, the, the best way is just to click on here, you will see you have the... Um, the recipe, you hit A, so you have it on your uh, bookmark, and then it's easy to go ahead and craft. So I'm going to need some, um, what is it already that I need? So iron and clay. Actually, I think I can do it with copper. And uh, yeah, I was cooking a bunch of copper and a bunch of clay plates that I'm going to need. So let me put... Uh, let me put another crafting table right there uh, because this one can access this and this one can access all that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a stick. And with that, we should be able to craft this. Now, I'm not going to do it with iron because I do not have a lot of iron. So I'm going to do it with that, with copper. And I believe it will be, yeah. It will be accepted as well. So let's go ahead. Choice of war. Fresh water, fresh milk. Uh, tempting the milk, but I'm going to go with the uncommon loot bag. It's always fun to, to see. Now, every component of a meal can be put on a kitchen workshop before cooking. Water, oil, wheat, pasta, rice, cheese, vegetable, etc. But it does not make sense without kitchen wares. Okay, so let's claim that. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got uh, anti-money and two copper plates, which is nice, which is uh, actually for, uh, for iron. And this is where I'm going to put all the alchemistry stuff. Um, so that's good. So supposedly you can add it in here in any of these uh, places, I guess. Not sure. First time I used that mod, so we'll, we'll, we'll learn together. Uh, so we finished that. Uh, artisan iron cookware so we can add that one and remove this and let's see what is required for that gonna need a stick and two slabs so i think i have two slabs and i have a stick and let's go ahead and i'm just gonna do the same in here i'm gonna remove the iron and put the copper there you go that will finish that quest excellent and we get a choice reward white mushroom heavy cream Kitchen workshop, why we will have used to combine several unit operation, we will need to... Uh, how difficult was that to make the kitchen workshop? Um, 
tank. That was not that uh, that hard actually. It's not that hard. So uh, let's get another uh, uncommon loot back, and uh, we'll see what we get. A bow. Nah. Not that great. Not that great. But hey, it's better than nothing. Um, okay, let's see what else. Next step, cutting board. Okay. And oh, we have a little bit more in here. Uh, artisan iron knife. So let's add this one. Probably is gonna be the same. I'm gonna need a stick. Uh, let's see the recipe here. And two strings. Okay, we do have two strings in here. So let's go ahead and grab this one and make it a copper. Excellent. Uh, can I add all this in here? So I can add that one and I can add that one right there. So depending on the recipe, you can add all those tools in there. Interesting. Uh, kitchenware, uh, clay pot. All right, so clay pot, easy enough. And we the, the stuff that I was actually cooking, I uh, wasn't actually cooking it for that, but uh, well, we have it. Can I add it in there? Oh, okay, so it does, it does most of the uh, crafting probably required three different uh, utensils. Okay. Uh, item reward, pumpkin pie. Excellent. We have two. Let's eat the pumpkin pie right away. And we have uh, the clay back. Actually, clay goes right there. And I saw prosperity shard. We have 40 already. Nice. Oh, no, 10. Okay, I thought it was 40. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that one we didn't claim. A silver coin. Excellent. I'm going to put the coins uh, in here with the rest. And actually, let me grab this bow. Since we have the arrows right there. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Man, this is going really great. But I want to actually explore a little bit. So I want to start doing this. Um... I have this clay plate, okay, so excellent. I turn roll. Clay plates are a component from ceramics. They are used to create different armors and utensils. Excellent. So we're gonna claim that. And this actually, uh, I don't think they have a use specifically besides melting. So let's go ahead and throw them right there. Sometimes it's a little buggy. The, uh, the, the I throw something in there, it show, but it doesn't actually is there. The next time I don't know. All right, so we claim that one. Uh, let's see here. So we can make clay plates. It's like that. I am assume the rest of the armor is exactly the same. And um, we're gonna need the leggings, the helmet, and the boots. So let's go ahead and do that one. Uh, oh, I have it here. Okay, so let's see. So we have that one. We have the legs. We have the uh, head and the boots. So that should give me a bunch of reward. And I have the iron helmet. Just gonna save that one for when this one is broken. And uh, there you go. Nice. We have a new armor set. And let's go ahead and claim all these rewards. So we get a stone chisel. Three armor points at 64 durability. Oh man, this is this is very bad durability. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Good to know that is gonna be a very crappy armor. The clay leggings provide two armor points at 60 durability. Okay. Uh, the clay helmet provide one armor point at 44 durability and we get 64 water stones. Okay. And this one provides one armor point and 52 durability. And we get an uncommon copper coin. Yeah, uncommon uh, bag. Let me put that one there. And see what we get. Impregnated frame. Uh, demon plates. And empty cells right now. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's put all that in there. Let's actually uh, sleep. Uh, I hope there's no penalty for, for sleeping in this uh, mod pack. There you go. Man, I, I wish this guy went away. I'm about to... To murder him. Be the first victim. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, the smiley cloud, I don't remember, do I have uh, four and one? Oh yeah, I do have a solidified that, and I have white wool, so let's go ahead and and craft this guy and, and, and finish that quest, excellent. So, smiley cloud, let's put this guy right there, and uh, let's give it a name, uh, oh, first to say something nice about the channel i'll put your name in there let me know <laughs> uh what else um choice reward light blue wool cookies and cake oh i think i'm gonna go with the cake that is probably the most difficult uh to um uh to prepare and i'm gonna put the cake right there excellent so now we can eat a little bit of cake there you go Alright, so we finished all that, man. Where uh, this, I think I needed four, right? Yeah, four pieces, and I only have two. I don't think I have any more. Okay, so we'll have to wait for that one. Uh, all about silicon. Uh, let me see that this is gonna lead us to thinkers and copper coils. So a lot of tech in here. Um, oh, watering can. That will be nice to have. So, cotton seeds, I need five. How many do I have? Um, do I have cotton seeds? I should have cotton seeds. Um, how come I don't? Look at that, a rotten egg as well. Uh, rice seeds... Well, I'm gonna have to uh, take a look because I know I planted some, but I don't remember... I don't remember exactly where. Um, let's double check. I'm pretty sure I planted some cotton. There you go. That one in here is a seed, right? Yeah, that one. That is one. Uh, this one is another one. So I have. Oh, but these are different. Uh, uh, different kinds. Okay, I have three there. Uh, let me plant that one there. But I should have more. I'm pretty sure I have more uh, around. Let me double check here. Um, not in here. Man, I planted so much stuff everywhere. And actually I have another plantation right there with just the regular stuff. Uh, let me remove F7 for a second. Oh, come on. Don't hang. Uh, look at all this rubber. I need to do a tree tap for that. Um, not in here, not in here. Well, I guess I'm, I'm gonna plant these in front of the house and as soon as they are ready, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna get more. So let me just grab. I love that they teleport to my, to my inventory right away. I see a lot of butterflies around here. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, I don't see any more. Anyway, let me plant this tree in front of the house for now. Uh, we'll remove these uh, potatoes and plant this. And we have a chisel and beat this stone one. There you go. And that goes there. Alright, so we'll take a look at that after. Uh, that will lead to string, string mesh, fishing nets. Wooden and sleeping bag. Oh, nice. Okay. And on these basic plates, uh, copper plates, uh, craft a few copper plates with uh, your new sledgehammer. Uh, later, you can use machines to save materials. Okay, so for now, it's going to be a lot of waste of materials. Uh, we have the, sla the sledgehammer in there. So, probably we're going to need a lot of copper plates. So, let me put all that. And you know what? Let me throw some more copper and iron to uh, smelt in there um, throw that in there and that in there and do I have any more copper? yeah I have some more copper here and lead and tin probably lead and tin will be needed soon we'll see okay so I finished that uh, where is the uh, copper place? right there excellent that is going to give us a uh, copper plate, one bucket, and copper coin. Excellent. 
Uh, copper plate, so it's a whole set of armor for that. And uh, I want to actually craft this just in case I don't have enough materials. Oh, that's only one. And it's gonna be using the bucket. Uh, how difficult it is to make a bucket. We need the blacksmith workshop. And a bunch of uh, tools, iron rod, uh, silicon. Right, that's not that, that bad. How bad is to make that? Tin. Okay, so we're gonna need tin for that. And um, advanced crafting and a bunch of iron to make that. Man, this, the, the, I hope auto crafting with uh, A2 or uh, refined storage is gonna be a thing. Because if not, it's gonna be a very difficult to do. Anyway, uh, let's do that watering can. Excellent. And uh, let's go ahead and water uh, those uh, cotton seeds. Uh, how do I do that? Yeah, shift right click. And then we hold it, hold right click, and this should actually grow. Unless these Natura seeds are not the same as regular seed. You can see the other seeds are, are uh, actually growing, but these Natura seeds are not. Probably the other copper, uh, the other cotton seeds, it will grow faster. Where did I put that one? Um, right there. So these one are. Oh, oh man, I removed too much. Uh, give me a second. So we don't have to do it that fast. There you go, and. There you go. Give it time to 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 do. Turnip, cut them. There you go. I think no, it's not. It's not even growing. Why the the cotton is not growing? Why? Oh, there you go. There you go. And I need more water. They don't hold a lot. Um. It does a 3x3 three three area and it holds 4 buckets. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a better one soon. And the cotton is not collaborating. Once we have more, probably it's gonna be faster. But yeah, it's not, uh, it's not growing that fast. And I don't know if it's me or does, does uh, this give me hunger a little bit? Definitely cotton is not growing faster. Come on, man. You can see that the rest is growing really, really fast. Come on, are you going to give me another one or not? Uh, no, it doesn't seem to want to, to grow more. Anyway. We'll wait for that to grow by itself. We'll have a bunch in there. All right, so uh, let me put all this stuff in here. Copper, we already have 46 copper coins. And I think I could actually you can, uh, you can uh, change copper coins for uh, maybe this, yeah. For silver, which is really nice. Uh, so now we have seven silver coins and one copper coin. Okay. Uh, let me put that in there. Let's see what else we can do in here. Uh, so that one is finished. Oh, it's going to give me a bucket back. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. That's really thoughtful. <laughs> copper chest plate. Probably is going to be something like this. No, it's not. Okay. Do I need this? Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's gonna finish that one. Is that a uh, nighttime already? Let me see. Nope. Mm -hmm. Where's the sun? Oh, it's almost nighttime. Okay. I do want to go explore this uh, before the end of the episode, that uh, underground, because uh, I think it's gonna be really, really rewarding to, to find chest. Uh, but before I do that, let me finish uh, doing this uh, item reward. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff, including a uh, common loot bag with milk, rice, birch, and melurine saplings. Oh, 
We already had some, but that's good to have. Uh, milk, uh, bur um, rice, excellent. And uh, should I use, this is three armor and three, but this is probably better durability. So we're gonna save on that one. And uh, pants and other stuff. So this ends right here. If you want to progress, we just have to follow the lines. And if we don't need to actually do this one, actually that one, these two were optional. So next should be the copper chest because we need all that in order to open these. So copper chest plates is just a chest surrounded by, um, by these. Uh, can I do, well, let's do one. I uh, have one in there. So let's do one right there. Excellent. I'm going to put it right here. And that's give it a wood to copper chest upgrade. So we can apply that one and I'm going to probably apply it to this. So there you go. So all these can be added in here. That actually is not that big though. Uh, we'll probably transform it in an iron one soon. Uh, let's put it in there. Next is going to be basic metal, 10 iron. Um, I have some copper, I have some iron, that should do it. Let me sleep for a second. Basic metals done. Okay, and let's see here. Uh, iron ore and copper, thank you. Uh, what else? Basic iron plates, and I assume craft iron plates with your artisan. We need four, I assume it's the same like this. Yeah, one, two, three, four. All right, let's claim that. That should finish that quest. And choice reward, iron plates, copper coin. What is the uh, recipe for this? It's two iron and string. Okay, so the iron plates is actually four iron. So I'm going to get the iron plates on that one. Uh, and the advanced crafting. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Very nice. So we need copper plates, iron plates, and three crafting tables. Excellent. So let's craft that. Uh, with this, we can craft one, two, three. And we should be able to actually craft this advanced crafting table. Excellent. Let me remove all this. Um, where should I put this? Uh, let's put it right here for now. Advanced crafting. Uh, it doesn't read, it seems, the, um, uh, whatever is the, the, uh, the chest uh, next to it, but it's, uh, look at the crafting in here. Oh, look at that for, uh, actual edition. Gonna need a lot of that. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, wooden to copper chest upgrade. Um, excellent. So we get another one. Gonna, gonna probably upgrade... Uh, let's upgrade uh, this one here. It's empty. You can use it to, to put some stuff in there. And let's see what else we can do. Uh, cloth. Okay, this goes into satchel, basic materials, uh, dark gems. Every craft had only uh, one new ore to the war. I saw one, but I couldn't pick it up. I uh, called dark one. This ore spawn from Y level 15 to 55 and drop dark gems upon breaking. You will at least need an iron tier pickaxe. Um, I did got this. Can I do a pickaxe with that? Um, yes, I can, but I'm going to need a lot more. And I'm going to need some uh, pli uh, pliers and burner. Okay, burner doesn't seem to be that difficult, pliers neither, unless, uh, and I don't know exactly minus 12, what does it mean? So I'm going to need more than that, and ruby actually, probably you need also a uh, pickaxe, and this I think is, yeah, mining level diamond. So that could be a way, uh, if not um, the iron one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, the iron one we can do. Let's let's try this, shall we? Uh, let's add these and let's add. Um, where's the other one? Uh, the burner. Okay. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use probably copper as well for that uh, for the pliers. So let's do like this. We're gonna need some string and two pieces of of this like so artisan copper and this one is wood and two copper probably like that uh, let's see can i use that one yes i can all right so if i put oh it's not that this one what do i need oh no 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 no, no. wait a second i need the blacksmith workshop that is going to be tin plates basic gas tank that's a lot of iron and this is the one in the advanced crafting and silicon plate okay so we'll wait for that at least we have these two tools in there um i do want to go to that um, sh um uh, what is called that dungeon for a second just to see if we can find some easy rewards uh, i don't know if easy is gonna be the the um the name of the game but uh let's take a look i do want some cobble and i do want some more uh this to get a little bit more torches just uh, grab almost a stack in there and we can actually put it in here all right so let's take a look in there and see um actually let's grab some food first so uh, uh, you can see here there's nothing i can open shift right click and right click uh, the um uh, the chest and then i can open and see what i got now if we use if you normally have good food you will actually fill it with good food now uh, my food is all crap for now uh none of them are really more than one heart or basically not the rice bread is one that we can actually try uh, this one actually are good and uh, since we cannot craft them I think uh, it's only from villagers I'm gonna uh, take them with me and this give you some uh, effect night vision water breathing so they're good so let's grab a little bit of this and let's go ahead and explore actually you know what i need also i need some blocks just in case i need to uh, shield myself so let's go ahead and grab some dirt and i should yeah let's bring the water bucket and we'll bring some water with us uh, just in case we need it so this goes like that let's take a look in here uh let's go all right uh gonna put some light yeah these are the regular uh dungeon stuff i'm gonna put f7 in here there you go and one in there so let's remove that one this it's uh, right there in the open this i don't actually see anything and what about this yeah i don't see anything in there okay so let's open it looks calm <laughs> let's see how how long it lasts and uh, we'll be putting some light oh my god what the hell is that guy okay uh let's put some light in here mm, that doesn't look uh very um yeah that look that guy looks very terrifying and well this was disappointed so far it's just a big cave anyway guys that's gonna be it for uh, this episode actually let me craft this uh, we'll finish another quest right away i think it was like that yeah prepare flesh excellent
Uh, let me put this stuff away. And this in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to organize this chest, but uh, that is another quest that we finish uh, right here and we'll get more prepared fresh and a copper coin and we can actually eat that Let's see. Uh, it's not a uh, no just another rotten flesh to, uh, to leather mod. Okay so We can use that to make backpacks and we can cook it actually to get leather. Ah, nice Nice, nice, nice. I'm not gonna use that for a full piece of coal for that. Uh, but anyway, you get the idea. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.